What is going on YouTube? Fascinating graveyard. And today, we are not at a graveyard. This is the United States Space and Rocket Center here in Huntsville, Alabama. But there is a grave here that I'm gonna show you guys. Today, we're gonna visit the grave of Miss Baker. Look at that, isn't that cute? Miss Baker. Well, who is Miss Baker? Or what is Miss Baker? Uh, well, Miss Baker is a squirrel monkey. Why are we visiting the grave of a squirrel monkey? Well, because Miss Baker, the squirrel monkey, is the first animal ever to be launched into space and return alive. Yeah, it looks like we had a few mishaps in our space program back in the day. So on March, excuse me, May 28th, 1959, Miss Baker, along with her pal, Miss Abel, were placed in these little weird cylinders and launched aboard a Jupiter rocket launching from Earth traveling 300 miles above the planet's surface, reaching speeds of 10,000 miles an hour, they both withstood the G-forces 38 times greater than the gravity here on Earth. Now, they had cameras on both the monkeys as they were being launched. The total flight time was only about 15 minutes. Now, they said on the video that the monkeys only started really panicking during liftoff and that during certain times of the flight. But other than that, they were being pretty good sports about it. <laughs> well, it's not like they really had much of a choice. So they were fitted with the electrodes to you know, monitor their uh, breathing, their heart rate, blood pressure, all that sort of stuff. And they achieved nine minutes of weightlessness that's pretty awesome hey this is interesting this is what this channel is about fascinating stuff you didn't even know this huh so when they returned to earth as a reward for their bravery well again they were <laughs> they didn't really have much of a choice now did they uh they were rewarded rewarded a banana and a cracker now me personally i felt that we could have done a lot better than that I mean, come on now, guys. You don't have the guts to go up there yourself, but you're gonna send some squirrel monkey up there and you only give him, give her as a banana and a cracker? Well, so the monkeys lived. They returned to Earth, like I said, and uh, basically, uh, Miss Baker, she lived out the rest of her days uh, in some type of a special enclosed um, area of this place. Uh, that's basically where she lived. Uh, and uh, she outlived both of her husbands. Yep, uh, Big George was her first husband. Uh, don't even ask me why they called him that. I don't want to know. And then her second husband, Norman. And they both had like little cutesy ceremonies for both the uh, squirrel monkeys. And uh, every year when it was her birthday, it would be celebrated in the... The local newspapers here in Huntsville, Alabama. I, I guess not a lot happens here in Huntsville, Alabama. Kind of a slow news day to celebrate the birthday of a squirrel monkey. Whatever. So just like how mostly women outlive their husbands because men go out and work and toil in the backbreaking industry that they're at and while the women sit back and do nothing and eat bonbons, like I said earlier, she outlived both of her husbands, per usual. And also, you probably did not know this, but she is the oldest documented squirrel monkey of all time. She lived to be 27 years of age. And you can see that rocket right there. That thing is huge. That is awesome really really awesome 
Just a interesting story that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And if you look over to your right, why are these people wearing masks? It's outside. Come on, guys. Get a... Anyways, uh, here we are. This is the grave of Miss Baker, Squirrel Monkey. First U.S. animal to fly in space and return alive. Oh, I guess the Russians did it before us? Yeah, I didn't know that. Not but very good. And you got Big George, that's her first husband. And uh, where's Norman's grave? What happened to Norman? Ah. Oh, I thought uh, I thought they'd be buried together. Huh. I guess uh, her true love was Big George. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this somewhat interesting video. I I felt it was pretty interesting. Anyways, coming to you from the Space and Rocket Center here in Huntsville, Alabama. If you want to go inside, you must wear a mask which I will not be doing because I am inoculated. So why do I have to wear a mask if it works? If it doesn't work, then what's the point? Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and tiredness. <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys later. Have a good one. Peace out.